So I started a new character, a new save, to be able to showcase different parts of the game and make guides for different parts of the game, which is kind of not really working well if you have a high level character, for example, showing a boss fight or something like that. But first out is this little starter house I made. You can make this really early, like level five, six, depending on how aggressive you are uh, going for the different uh, uh, NPCs here. Um, you might have to face some level 7 mobs, but you can also just ignore the mobs and go for for the objectives, right? You don't really have to fight them. Uh, there's some interesting things here, I think. The grass roof. Uh, there is no grass roof in game, so obviously that's terrain instead. But I will show how, I'm, how I made that and how I made a little attic here as well, where I have uh, my bed. Uh, let's jump out. I think uh, the porch is also kind of different. Uh, there's some techniques for making this porch as well as the stuff around the windows, the doors, and also kind of a neat... There's nothing really special about uh, the basement, uh, but there's a really neat and efficient way of doing basements that I'm going to show. And what I'm thinking about doing is making another house like this over in this area, uh, and uh, connect them through the basement underground so if I want to craft stuff I can just run in between the houses right uh, but from from the ground it looks like two different houses so the first thing I want to do is do some measurements also I should mention this road here you can get dirt road material but you can't really get the stone road but you can still make the stone road so actually I will start with that because it's a neat little trick to make that happen so this is another one of those occasions where the rake is really the MVP of Enshrouded because even though you cannot place this road, if you have some road like you have over there leading down from where you start, you can spread it out. So you can use the rake, yeah, just left click here and kind of, oh I didn't spread, I spread the grass instead. But if you actually click the road first, you can see I spread the, the road out through the terrain. Uh, so that is possible to do. Um, so if you want more of this road, you just need you just need a starting point really, and then you can kind of get it from there. But let's get started with the building. So I want to be able to walk over to the other building through the cellar. I think the opening should be about here, uh, which means I need to place down some cubes just to know exactly where I'm going in. So like, I need the, the walkway to be like this, right? So I made some measurements here, I will remove these ones once I got like the build in place. But when you decide where to build, I will show a really neat trick how to do the basement. Uh, you can of course use the pickaxe to kind of dig out the basement and you will get a lot of material from that. But if you don't care about like getting the material, there's a lot quicker way. And that is using building blocks. So I will just place this one here. Um, I want this this big. Here's the area we want to actually cover, uh, like this. And like, oh, I need to go one more here. And then I decided on this size here. No, one more here as well. Like this. Just keep working outwards like this. And now we remove them. And they will leave a gap. Of course, we need the basement to be a bit uh, deeper than this. So we just do like more layers, right? Uh, let's see, I had uh, double, double ones here. Uh, and now we just go for the next layer. So like about there I guess. Am I in the correct place? Again, not hitting exactly where I want to. I have snapping turned off, you do that with X, because if if I have snapping on, they don't always snap where I want to. Actually, do, now they do, but previously they didn't. So you can like experiment with having them on or off, whatever. I think here I actually need a snapping off to be able to not dig in towards the sides. Uh, so next level done, let's remove that. And another, like the last level here, I think after that we're far enough, like, far enough down into the ground for a basement. So you can see this is a lot faster than, than digging and you also get really sharp edges here um, on the sides. But of course we don't get any material, but we don't lose any either. We get all the materials back here uh, when we destroy the, the different blocks here. Uh, you see it's the exact same amount of rough stone block uh, that I had previously. Uh, for the walls here, I do want to use another, the roughly cut stone block. I think it's a lot nicer looking. Uh, so um, let's see, it looks like this. 
oh no, uh, here, it looks like this. I think this one is a lot nicer looking, uh, so that's what I want to use. Uh, this one you can't really get by just grabbing the materials. You use um, rubble and stone to make this one. Uh, the problem is, of course, that you need kind of the recipe for it as well, and you don't get it by just picking up rubble and stone. So I will actually start by showing you where you can get this one. Um, so let's uh, let's get there. Here's the starting location, and here is where you get the recipe for the roughly cut stone block. It's very close to a quest you get that is called the Story of Rot. The easiest way to get there is you go to the ancient spire here in the Springlands that you should be unlocking really early. You just jump out from the ancient spire, fly as far as you can. Uh, I have put a waypoint there as well to keep track of the location. But it's in the like trod over there towards the left. Okay, so it's up in this building. I just need to go up there. We're not going to read that thing over there. Instead, just ignoring the mobs here. And up here, you got it. So just grab this block, and now you got the roughly cut stone block in your inventory, and also the recipe. And now we can proceed building the basement. Uh, it should actually be one more out here. Let's see it like this. And once we are done with the walls, we can just add the floor as well, like this. Let's see, there we go. I don't know if I want to keep this here. Could actually, it kind of looks a bit neat. And there we go, you got your basement done. Actually, I, I don't have it done yet. It should be further out here. Like this. Alright, that's better. I think I will do the underground tunnel between my old house and the new one that will exit down here uh, before I start with the rest of the build. I will use the same technique for that as I did with the basement, that is placing blockers and then remove them to get a really even surface. Digging through the ground to the other building actually took a little bit of time since I had to be really careful uh, not to breach the ground above. Uh, what I noticed though is that this floor is one block higher than the other side, so I will lower this one uh, by one cube to make them well, the same height. Uh, that's fairly easy though, I mean I just need to remove what I got here and I just place uh, the floor one step lower. That should be here, right? Yeah, that, that looks about right. I just do that all over the place. Like this. Oh well, one more in I guess. Okay, yeah. A bit of waste of materials there, but who cares. Uh, anyway, so now it's uh, done. I need to make this one a bit, uh, a bit bigger as well. So one, two, three, four. One more I guess. Should be about right. Uh, and now we got the tunnel here. Uh, I will do some more work here on the walls as well, uh, but we'll leave that for later and instead start uh, with the rest of this house. I will start by removing all these cubes since I just had them there for measurement and don't really need them anymore. So let's do that first. I want to use shroud wood for the floor because I really like the texture of that one. Uh, shroud wood is really easy to get hold of, it's not a recipe you have to find somewhere in the world. As soon as you cut down a tree somewhere in the shroud, uh, you get this uh, automatically, so super easy. Uh, 
as you might notice I don't leave any hole for the basement or for the stairs down to the basement uh, because I think it's just easier to cut it afterwards uh, so since we had our entrance here and I think I want the entrance to the house over here I think I want the stairs down about here uh, which means uh, what we do here is just cut a hole uh, let's see we got this one here uh, one two three four five maybe is enough as a little platform I can always move that one later if I want to and we just need a little hole in the ground something like this maybe one more grab the stairs uh, let's see where do we have them here uh, I think I want to make the stairs in um, stone though, so like this. Is this okay? Maybe one more in, like this. Yeah, that's good. And this continue this one down. Might be easy to spot the rest from below. So like this. Is that alright? No, it's not. Okay. Sometimes that I think that can sometimes be a bit tricky. Yeah. Okay. That's better. Like this okay so we got the stairs up uh, I think we need a little bit more headroom here uh, so I will remove another block here I think it's a bit tight for the head uh, but this should be all right so we got the basement now it's fairly empty uh, and we got the walkway there I will use tarred wood block for for the walls the same as for the other house because it looks like a timber build uh, this one is also super easy to unlock uh, you use the charcoal kiln that you get with the blacksmith and the blacksmith being like the first NPC you unlock for your base so you get that super early uh, you might notice here I use the same type of block all the time I don't do like openings for doors and windows and that's just because I feel it's easier to just cut them out later where I want to have them so I just close everything in like this and maybe not myself at the same time and now we got the basics for our little house and I need to add a little bit here as well looks about right and here also a little missing part like this so this looks a lot like timber I think um, or the closest material so far that I found to timber I would make a porch as well like we have here um, just a little bit smaller but just to show the technique with the railings here as well uh, so I think the door in is going to be here which means we want the porch here as well uh, for that I going to use yet another material that I don't have in my inventory now so just ordinary wood I was out of that material so I had to go and farm some wood if you are going to gather a lot of materials early on it's good with stamina recharge uh, food and you get honey early on which is really good for that so it's plus 15 to stamina recharge which is a lot if you compare for example with water that's just plus two lasts for three minutes so it's really really good to, to just have some honey with you when you cut wood or stone for that matter now when I got a bunch of wood blocks let's make the porch I actually don't really need that many since I plan to make like a really small porch here mostly just showing off that technique uh, and now to one of the I think really cooler building tricks you can use roofs for some or roof tiles for so much more than just roofs so if you put just one cube here of the plant fiber roof and just on top of each other like this you notice that it actually looks like a little pillar so you got um, kind of a wooden pillar here um, and then you can also build outwards with this so now it looks really bad but as soon as we add one more we get this really nice shape uh, let's see here I'm in my way for my in the way for my own building and we got this little fence now that looks really neat and let's do the same here towards this side and we just add four on top of each other oops not like that like this and out towards the other side so both uh, roofs and also terrain can be used in a lot more ways like you can just build with terrain as if it was cubes but it will kind of blend together in a bit different way uh, I also want to do uh, the stairs up here and I will just do them here I think also I want to add like this little pillar like this below as well uh, so it looks like it goes through the construction here I think this looks really nice um, 
So let's switch to this one. And also I want to use this one, right? And this should be the pillar for the stairs. Can I fit it in correctly? Like this. And then one more here below, like this. And we've got our little porch here. Uh, and we can now cut, cut uh, not cut, cut, a uh, hole for the door. So the door is four by five, three, four, five, one, two, like two, three, four, I mean. And I just remove the rest here. And we've got a nice space for to kind of put our door in. Like this. Uh, like you see here, I both for the windows and for the doors, I used a little technique to get this looks really look really nice, I think, um, with some extra detailing. Uh, so I will do the same on this door as well as maybe two windows here. Uh, so the windows normally are like two up, uh, if you want to fit them with the like standard window ones, and like this, three times two. I think I want a double window here. And then maybe a single window over here somewhere. I can always move these ones, like just punch a hole in the wall. Oh, that was not good. Uh, like this. Uh, for the details around the windows and doors, I again use roof, but this time the tarred uh, single roof block. Uh, so we're just going to do like this. Also, not anything you need to worry about unlocking, since it will unlock as soon as you get tar and wood. Um, and we used it here as well. You can see that it ha actually has a really distinct pattern when you put it on top of each other. So you get this really nice uh, pillar here that adds, I think, a lot of detail to, uh, to the house. And if we actually continue going in like this, we only get uh, the little uh, roof here. But if we add one more block above that, we also get uh, this nice uh, detail that is meant to go on the short side of the house. Um, so this is how you do really nice decorations around doors and windows. Let's add it here as well. I went to the carpenter and did a bunch of windows and doors. If you don't have the carpenter yet, you can still do the build. You will just have to use less good looking windows, I guess. Um, and then you can of course exchange them later as soon as you've got the carpenter. The carpenter is not really hard to get though, so you don't really have to fight when getting a lot of the NPCs or all of them. You can most of the time just run past the mobs instead of actually fighting them. Uh, so now we got that inside and the second thing I did was create a bunch of scaffolding. Um, this you can do at the normal workbench and it's really good to have when you are going to work with the roof. Uh, let's see, a bit outside here. Uh, we put one on this side as well. I might have to move these ones a bit later. These ones you don't like, you can pick them up like any type of furniture. So when you're done with them, you just pick them up. You don't have to destroy them or anything like that. I would start with the inner roof so that it will be easier to stand up here. And I want to use ordinary rough uh, wood for that, the same as for the porch, uh, to mix a bit of materials. I think that creates a better look overall to not use just the same material for everything. Um, Let's see, like that. Oh, no, like yeah, a bit more, like this. It's actually hard from this perspective to see exactly where the stuff is placed, uh, but this was all right. Uh, then we'll switch to, oh, I didn't mean to switch there. Uh, I kind of mess up between pressing Alt and Control all the time, uh, but I want this one and I want the shroud wood block uh, because I want to create a little overhang towards the side so like if we look at this building here, you can see I have an overhang of two out towards this side and an overhang of one out towards that side. So that's what I want to create here. Um, so let's go back up to the roof first. And I will actually have that one a little bit upwards as well. So like this, yep, that looks nice. Just keep going here like this. I am finished with the overhang here. That is two on the short side of the house and one on the long side. I'm not sure if it's called overhang in English. I'm not native English speaker, as you can probably tell. So if you know the correct vocabulary, just point it out in the comment section below and I will try to use it in the future. Anyway, I used the tarred single roof block for this, not for the whole roof, of course, but 
uh, for the nice details on the edges. Just the same one I used for the door. Uh, so let's see if I can place this one in the correct spot. I want it to align like this. Is that correct? Let's wait to actually look if it looks nice it's from the side. And that looks like it is in place. Let's go up on the roof again. I work my way upwards like this until they meet in the middle. Uh, I don't really need to fill up the rest of the roof here. Uh, just uh, this short side and this short side to get the details. Uh, and I will actually remove most of it. So. Uh, let's see a little bit more up. I also probably should figure out exactly where the center is So they actually meet in the center and not somewhere else. So I place some stuff here just to measure out where the middle is and um, Let's place the last parts here like this and Like this to look nice this one actually the last one should go up a little bit more I think uh, Like one more like this maybe now that was too much, all right. So if you put them overlapping too much, you get this detail up here and we don't want that. Meaning I should actually go like a little bit lower with one of them um, or both of them rather. Like this. Yeah, now they meet nicely in the middle and there's not that um, little uh, weird thing happening at the top either. And uh, now we just do the same on the other side as well. So I built these ones on both sides now, and now it's actually time to remove like 90% of what we built. Just leaving one uh, towards the border here, or towards the edge of the roof, and the rest should be removed. So just one cube left there of roof thickness. After removing everything except one block of thickness here, it looks like this and we can put in some uh, wood here as well uh, to make that part look really nice. Like, uh, let's see, here and the same on this side. Once we are done with that, uh, it's time to put the grass in. Although I don't really use grass because the grass or rather the dirt block, if you put it for the roof, it looks like this. And that's not really nice looking. I mean, it's too rocky for my taste. However, the flower soil uh, stays kind of green and uh, really nice, to, like regardless of how much it, uh, the inclination is of the roof. And it's easy to find a lot of over here. So again, going to the ancient spire here, We just jump out from the ancient spire in the opposite direction we did to get the terrain block or the stone block. And up here in the little monastery there is plenty of flower soil and you just can hack away at it. And once we got enough flower soil, we can now start placing a roof uh, like this. You want to make sure it doesn't stick out on the side here because that won't really look good. So um, let's see, like this, just follow this one upwards until they meet in the middle. Oh, that one wasn't good placed. Like see, like so. And then we do the same from the other side. Make sure you don't clip through. You can always uh, go back a little bit with undo with Y, but not that many steps. So you have to kind of be careful because unlike the building materials, terrain is a bit a pain to remove if you make too much of it. So it's a lot easier if you do it correct right away. There we go, and now we just work our way towards this ed edge from, from the side. I'm almost done with the roof. I will cut a little hole here in the wall, uh, both to provide myself with some way of getting out once I finish off the roof. Well, I could teleport out, but mostly to get some light and also a way in to actually finish off the rest of the attic here once I'm done with the roof. So let's see, something like this. I don't need that much of an exit. 
There we go. That hopefully will provide enough light to finish the rest of the roof. Let's grab this tile here and finish this off uh, like this. Let's follow the same line here. And same for this part. Yeah, that looks about right. And the roof should now be finished. Let's take a look, take a look from the outside. Uh, yeah, it looks nice. And also from the back as well. Right, so the grass roof is now finished, or rather the flower roof. Uh, time to do a little chimney as well. Of course, it has no real function, but I think it kind of looks nice. I had planned to put the chimney as well on the short side here, but I kind of think I don't really want to do that because I want the entry there and not on this side. And instead, I think I want to do the chimney up where this window is, so this window had to go and be placed somewhere else. So I removed the window to have room for my chimney here. Uh, and I want to make it in flintstone block because I think the flintstone got a really nice texture. There's plenty of flintstone everywhere in the starting area. A huge amount here up uh, on the other side of long keep. Anyway, let's get started building. So this one I do really simple. I have to turn off snapping though. Uh, let's see, maybe here. We're a bit closer towards the right hand side. Yeah, maybe a bit closer. Like this. I want it five wide because um, the little oven you can put inside is three wide and I want to put it inside of this one. Uh, let's see, so five wide here. Uh, and Let's grab another one of these like this. Then also move it uh, one outward. Uh, is that the right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, so everything like that and then move up here so we can work uh, with the chimney itself uh, Let's see. I am going to use this one make this one really really simple So it should be three wide up here and let's see if we, I can actually get to stand on top of this one and Do the last part. I should do it with these ones like this because I don't want to clip through too much downwards. So let's with single block like this. It should maybe be a bit higher than this. I think it should be higher. Uh, let's just work our way upwards. Chimney is done, I can always do it a bit higher later if I want to. Uh, let's move on to the attic. Making the attic is actually really simple. I just use roof again, but this time on the inside of the flower soil instead of on well, the outside, I guess. Uh, so let's see. Uh, snapping off. Often actually snapping, I feel, is more trouble than helpful. Yeah, there it is. That's about right. Doesn't tip through anywhere. Nice. And then you just keep doing this on both sides. For the part in the middle, I will use shroud wood blocks. Uh, I think they fit in rather nicely with the rest. Like this. Yeah. Just work my way towards the other side here. And there we go, the attic is done. Now that's all that is left is really to put the ladder on the outside and furnishing it. I will just check, just to be sure that I have nothing that is clipping through. Looks all right on this side. And also on that side. Uh, this means the house is pretty much done right now. All that is left is actually decoration as well as making like the stove on the inside as well. Uh, because I want the details here to kind of look like they fit with the outside. So let's make our little fake fireplace to match the chimney outside. Uh, we just have to locate it first. So that's where the chimney is going. Uh, I will remove all the blocks here. So 
So it should go out a little bit from the wall here, maybe two cubes like this, and we'll build the rest by hand. Let's see, one here like this. I think that looks all right and we can place the chimney inside of here right now like this see that we can actually sit down all right okay nice uh, maybe it actually should be a tiny bit inwards oh well I can fiddle with that later uh, let's put on in some more furnishing uh, also maybe do something with the basement as well uh, and grab some stuff from our carpenter here we are with the finished build. I have added some finishing touches like uh, a bit of illumination, a bit of vegetation around the house. I think that will be really nice once it grows up, like a little tree over here for example. A ladder up to the attic and as well let's take a quick look indoors as well. Uh, some furniture here to make it look more homey. Obviously I probably will move some crafters here once they get more crafting stations because the other house will be really crowded when they do. Uh, basement still really empty but plenty of space here to do whatever and also my little walkway that I need to finish uh, that is still in a very rough state. Hope you like this build. Uh, if you do uh, leave a comment in the comment section below also if you got other suggestions for different type of building tricks that can be nice to use on builds. Um, well, that was all. Cheers.